You saw crops like barley and wheat being harvested last time. These crops which produce grains are called cereals. Do you know what these cereal grains are used for? These wheat grains can be used to make flour. Flour is made by grinding the grains between two large stones called millstones. The millstones are hidden inside this box for safety. You can see the grains going in. The flour then comes out and is sieved and separated into four grains. This is the white flour which you may know, but... To get that we have to remove all the coarse material. Now the next bag contains what's called middlings which is coarser than the flour. It's more like sand and it doesn't have that same texture at all. And that, that tends to be used for pancakes and things like that. Then we have the um, semolina which is coarse, it's brown and we've got more brown in it and it's coarser still, it's more like sand, very like sand, very coarse. And then next one at the end we have the brown which is the outer skin of the grain which is flaky, it's, it's, uh, it's just very loose, coarse flakes of, 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 of the skin of the, of the grain. So that's the brown, semolina, middlings and that's the white flour, the plain flour. Obviously if you have a wholemeal flour then all these are mixed together to make one product. The flour can be used to make bread. The white there, you've got your wholemeal flour there, you've got a little bit of salt there and you've got your yeast here. I'll put a bit in at a time, it makes it easier really. So just, it's very simple, just mix it in. So once, so now you just get everything pulled together in a, a lump. Is, you, is this the ball of your hand? That is the bit and you're basically pushing it away from you and bringing it back towards you. So we'll keep doing this for about six minutes. Now you would keep it in a warm place to make it, make it, everything happen basically. Well, we've left this for about an hour and the yeast which makes the bread rise and puts the bubbles in your bread, you can just press it now like that and it bounces back. So now you know this is ready to go in the oven. So we're going to tip it gently onto this tray. And you can see it holds its shape. And this basket gives it a nice pattern. Flour is also used to make cakes and biscuits. Some of you may like malted milk biscuits. These get their multi flavour from another cereal grain, barley. Drinks like Horlicks are also flavoured with barley grains, as is another drink. Beer, whose ingredients include malted barley, hops, this is a hop plant, and these are dried hops. Here are the hops being added to the brew. Yeast is the ingredient which makes the mixture ferment and produce this froth. Once the beer has stopped fermenting it can then be bottled.
and enjoyed in moderation by your parents, especially your dad.